Hey guys, welcome back to Soccer to Santa. This is TJ, your gamer girl, signing off. So, last time we started Itsumi's Rod, and um, the, the girl has no shame whatsoever. So, time for day two. Ugh, guess it's time to work again. Although I'm not exactly looking forward to it. Still, it'd be nice to go see Itsumi again. This time, Itsumi's already dressed up. Looks like sh she looks ready for the day. Oh, Koji. Mm. Hello. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. That looks really cute on her, actually. Like, really cute. I like that. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, Itsumi. What's an interesting outfit you have there? A Santa outfit. A very flattering one at that. I don't have to say what you're thinking, do I? Not at all. You really aren't any different from back then. You were the biggest pervert in the school. Those were just misunderstandings! Yes, misunderstandings. That is what you called them. Anyway, today's going to be another busy day. But the customers won't be here for a while yet. She sits down at one of the tables. Is it really okay for you to do this? I mean, even if there are no customers yet. It's fine, Koji. I want to talk to you. I take a seat opposite to her. Her eyes stay on mine the entire time. It's funny that we've come together again. <laughs> we couldn't be separated back in the day, could we? Nope. We'd always go off on adventures together. Not just middle school, either. My entire life up until that point had been spent with her. It's a surreal thought when I think about it. Bonds don't quite fade. You might forget what someone looks like or not remember their name. But when you meet them again, it all comes back to you. <laughs> yes. So much time spent. After we went to different schools, I never found another friend like you, Koji. Did you ever meet anyone? I met a, mu a few people. No one I remember after I left high school, though. I see. I'll admit, you aren't as bashful as you used to be. We've all got to grow up eventually, right? Yes, but completely abandoning any sense of shame you have isn't very mature. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this coming from her. She did admit to me that she's going that she's using those sexy outfits to bring in customers. And again, if I were a girl, that's exactly what I would be what I would do too. Guys fall easily for a nice pair of breasts, no matter who they are. Yes, I go so far to say that breasts have conquered entire empires. You can stop thinking about dirty things now. There's nothing wrong with thinking about breasts. She leans across the table then. Flashing a gimps down her festively adorned cleavage. Really? Of course not. Of course I'm the one looking down her dress. If you think about nothing but breasts, it could be a problem. Maybe. Only if I spent all my time thinking about breasts. There's nothing wrong with setting some, aside, some time aside to thinking about them. Pervert. She leans back in her tail, in her chair. I can read, taking a moment to adjust the front of her dress. All right, I'll stop then. I honestly don't mind. It's strange how comfortable you are with these things, it's me. I'm older too, you know. If we never came to terms with these things, we'd never be functioning adults. Tell that to every person trying to get rid of everything sexual because they can't come to terms with it. That's true, more or less. I wonder what it's like for guys who keep getting embarrassed by these things no matter how old they are. Man, that would be hell. Cody? I've missed you. I kind of forgot about our friendship after all these years, but now that you're here... Her expression turned shy and sheepish for a moment. I've realized how much I miss talking with you like this. Itsumi. 
I never really realized it either. It's true, just walking with Itsumi is enough to put me at ease. I can't help but think about all the time we've lost. If only I'd stay there and went to high school with you. Neither of us would have to be alone then. Hey, there's no point in dwelling on what ifs, right? I'm just happy that I got another chance to talk to you. Right, that's true. Still, I would have liked more time with just us talking like this. It feels like it feels like the time I could have spent with you was unfairly taken from me. You had to leave because of your dad's work, right? Yes, he had to move to another town to keep his job. What choice did I have? She lets out a deep sigh. It's just nice thinking about how things could have worked out differently. I can hear the longing in her voice. Hey, I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere, it's me. We'll make up for lost time, I promise. Do you really promise? The coach I know would never break his promises. Of course I promise. I promise to stay here and help too. When you're not busy, we'll do heaps of fun things together, just like old times. Alright. Fun things. I remember some of your favorite fun things. Remember when you tried to get someone to buy you an adult magazine? Ouch. Yeah, he wanted to do the right thing and pay for one instead of stealing it. Of course, he didn't buy it for you. Pervert. I was just curious! No need to label me anything. If you aren't a pervert, why did you look at my chest? You did that on purpose! Am I supposed to ignore an open invitation? Well, it's not like I have a problem with you looking. Anyway, Koji, we still have plenty of work we need to do before customers arrive. She gets off her seat. I can see that her dress has started to ride up her back. Hey, Itsumi, might want to pull the back of your dress down. She looks behind herself, seeing the exposed edge of her panties. Figures you'd notice something like that. <laughs> Itsumi wasn't joking about today! I'm more stressed than I've ever been! It's even worse than yesterday! All I'm doing is collecting dirty dishes and washing them too! How did she cope with this before? This is just insane! I'm stacking plates as high as I can. But there's always more. There's always more glasses. There's always more everything! Yet the entire time, one person stands out among the horde of customers. Yes, sir, I'll have your iced coffee shortly. Please be patient. Oh, you want an iced coffee for your daughter? No problem. Her cool personality lets her keep a level head no matter how vast the sea of customers. It's almost mesmerizing to see her soothe the crowd as she passes by. No matter how angry the customers are for not getting their orders in a timely fashion, she's able to calm them down with only a few words. Please be patient, sure, you will have your drink shortly. Your food will be ready soon. When faced with that cool personality, the customers seem to become as calm as she is. How are you coping with the dishes, Koji? I'm fine, don't worry about me. I'm not fine, but I have to keep going. I said I would help out, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You're doing well, Koji. Keep it up. Don't worry, I will. Itsumi already has another tray of drinks out. How does she do this? Well, she does have several years of experience. Still, she's amazing. She used to be really clumsy for as long as I knew her. But now, she has an almost cat-like grace. And then I see the ground is slippery. Wait, Itsumi! It's too late. Oh dear. Oh, the poor girl. I did that once before. Accid I accidentally spilled a coffee when I was working at McDonald's a few years ago. I didn't get it on my uniform, but it was quite the mess that had to be. But it was quite a mess that had to be cleaned up. If we didn't, one of the other co-workers would have slipped on it. And that would have been bad, like really bad. She loses her balance instantly. The drinks on her tray spill. They completely coat the front of her chest. Thick, sticky fluids spray everywhere. All over her face, her arms, her breasts. And as you're talking about this, it's starting to look more and more dirty. Of course it is. Only in a soccer game. Her eyes go wide, shocked. Uh, 
She tries to wipe off her, tre her chest, but that only spreads it around more. Whatever was in those cups, it forms a sticky, syrupy strands between her fingers. That doesn't sound like coffee, does it? I don't get- I don't really order coffee at a cafe, so... Well, that's not good. Must be working too hard. That's when I noticed that the drinks are soaking through the front of her dress. She isn't wearing a bra underneath that outfit. I try to tear my eyes away, but there's something- just something bewitching about it. I'm sure every single guy in this cafe is thinking exactly the same thing. Breasts truly do conquer empires. I can almost hear them cheering as she passes by. Ugh, I have to help her. As much as I enjoy the view, I should do something to help her. She doesn't seem embarrassed in the slightest. I'm sorry, sir. I'll go get your drinks again. It'll only take a moment. She picks up her tray and carries on as if nothing happened. But the dress remains soaked and see-through. The sugar from the drinks is growing sticky on her skin too, making it look even more... Um... Eat to me? Don't worry, they appear to be pleased by this. Yes, I'm going to worry. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. She pauses to look at me. It's only a few spoke drinks, Koji. You know that's not what I'm talking about. I look down again. It will see able to see the peaks of her Mountains. Would you like me to show them to you? No! Oh? You don't like my boobs? It's not that I don't like them! Look, get cleaned up and I'll take over in the meantime. Are you sure you want to do that? I look behind her at the roaring crowd. My instincts are screaming at me to run away. The crowd will eat me alive, I'm sure. For each of me's sake, I'll face it. Yes, I'll do it. Just go clean yourself up, okay? As you wish, Koji. Probably just signed my death warrant. But it's for Itsumi. That's okay. After one terrible day, we finally leave work late in the evening. It's dark when we step out the cafe. You did well, Koji. Also, thank you for giving me the chance to clean up. Don't... Don't worry about it. I've barely had time to even catch my breath during all this. I didn't have a problem with it, though. I... How do I tell her? I just didn't like the idea of those guys perving on you. It just didn't seem right. It may seem silly, since I obviously share the same feelings. Still, I don't like them looking at my childhood friend that way. With Eats and Me and Me, we can make jokes about it. I see. That actually makes me happy, Koji. You do still care about me after all these years. Why wouldn't I care about you? I was worried you were just being polite. But it seems you really do care. She's uncertain too. I guess it's been a long time. Of course I care about you. Why wouldn't I eat to me? Feelings can change over time. That's just how life is. She scuffs her shoes on the sidewalk. I'd like to walk with you for a bit, Koji. If that's okay. Of course it is. I'm really tired after today. Spending time with Itsumi makes me feel better. Lead the way then, Koji. After work, Itsumi decides to walk home with me. Somehow, she doesn't look the least bit tired. Koji, what you did today was really sweet. But I'm curious. Why? I know you're using your looks to get more customers. But there are limits, you know. I don't think they should just get a show like that. But you saw my boobs earlier. Why are you suddenly so bashful about it? Isn't it different if it's me looking at you rather than a stranger? How so? Is there some reason you don't want people to look at me? She really is tearing into me. What guy wouldn't feel weird that their friend wasn't exposed in front of them? I see. Well, thank you. But you don't need to worry about me, Koji. After all, I took this job so I could be independent. Independence isn't all that it's cracked up to me. Maybe not, but I think it's important to try to prove yourself. I was just thinking. About nostalgia. What do you mean? When people look at the past, they think it was better- They think it was better than today. Imagining the world as having been some kind of bygone golden age. B 
But how does someone get so attached to a world so ordinary? Feelings aren't rational. They just what they are. They just are what they are. A clam forms a pearl around the grit of its around the grit in its mouth. A small feeling builds layers of memories over time, and eventually shapes something beautiful. People aren't rational, they're emotional. So even when you look at the tiniest current of feeling, it has the potential to build into a roaring wave. That's what I think, at least. Yeah, I think that's right. It's true. Something's, even something as simple as an old photo of an ordinary day, the feelings around it can grow and build on each other. Eventually, even a seemingly tiny, insignificant thing becomes incredibly, incredibly precious. Why did you ask some about something like that? I was just thinking back to the Christmas days we spent together. Even if it's something ordinary and simple, it means a lot. Yes, it really does. Now we're sitting here years later thinking back on it. <laughs> Part of growing up into old farts. Being nostalgic for the past, even when nothing important happened. Emotion makes the normal into the extraordinary. That's just how it is. If she thinks about it like that. Is that how she thinks about me? Thinking of myself as the gritty seed for a nacreous pearl is odd. But it's an excellent metaphor. But I need to go. Talk to you when I see you, Koji. Goodbye, Yitsumi. So, if her feelings are like grit, then how much has she wrapped around them after all these years? Who knows? Yesterday was hell. I thought the day before that was hell, but that was double hell. How does Yitsumi survive this day after day? It must take insane tenacity. I'm glad that I gave her a breather, though. Seeing her chest covered with whitish fluid? That's just wrong. She doesn't seem to have a problem showing her body, but I don't like the cafe using her like that. I guess I'm only just learning how exactly how shameless she is. A much more womanly figure helps with that. With how flat she was, I don't think she would ever I didn't think she would ever have boobs. I guess she I guess that guess sure turned out wrong. Anyway, today's is another day, and that day we're going to do next time. Until then, this is the Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye-bye.